Check, check, check. Looks good. Hey there, good morning. I'm Grace, welcome back to my channel. Today I just kind of wanted to pop on and put together something a little bit more chatty, less vloggy. I have in the past weeks been trying to put together like cohesive content that together would make up a vlog, sorry. It's for you, bye, 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 nope, you want it out, I love you. The first Monday in May, I had a women's health appointment, which I was looking forward to because I have some questions regarding some symptoms I have. I suspect that I might have PCOS or endometriosis. My mother had endometriosis, um, which she had surgically removed. I've been experiencing similar pain, um, a lot of PCOS symptoms like, you know, facial hair, hair thinning on top, stubborn belly weight, fatigue, and some discomfort. And I had gone to this appointment so ready to discuss with this new health practitioner my symptoms, maybe get some advice, something practical, but also maybe discuss, you know, some medication options to maybe just give me a little bit more of an edge when it comes to losing weight and trying to maintain my overall health. And as soon as I started listing some of those symptoms and expressing my concerns, my woman's health pr practitioner, who's a, a gentleman, um, this is the first time I've gone to someone in that occupation that hasn't been a woman and he he stopped me and he basically was like no 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 I can I can tell just by looking at you you have metabolic syndrome and then he proceeded to ask me if I thought that anyone in California like are there are there fat people in California he asked and I I said yeah sure there are like it's a big state he said no 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 everyone in California is on Atkins or South Beach or keto uh, everyone avoids carbs over there so everyone in California is skinny major red flag right there I thought um, okay and then he proceeded to ask me what I eat in a day as soon as I started listing things off he's like <sighs> It was so belittling and unhelpful and humiliating. Honestly, I felt embarrassed and that was before the exam. It was like before I even had to scooch. So yeah, that didn't go well. I was hoping to ask him about metformin, which I'd done just like a little bit of research on prior to going into this appointment. By the end of the appointment, I was in my car like, so that could have gone better. Uh, he had just written me a prescription for birth control that wouldn't have that placebo week and instead I would be taking the pill throughout the entire month, which I've done before, it's it's fine. Took that prescription to the pharmacy even though I wasn't like fully convinced that this was going to be the solution to my problems. I've already been on birth control for years. So, you know, these symptoms have only seemed to have gotten worse in the past year. Called up my sister who's a registered dietitian and I, I told her what I'd been told by this doctor and um, she was able to, you know, validate my concerns here. Like, you know, he was totally unprofessional. His advice was just absolutely out of line, I, you know, malpractice. So I get home and I start doing some more research and, uh, I came across a supplement that I hadn't heard of. I've heard of inositol. Um, I did take ovocetol for a while, about 90 days, and I didn't really see any results or success from that. But I did come across another supplement uh, called berberine. Let's see, do I have to do the hand thing? Yeah, anyway, berberine. And a lot of the content I'd found had compared it to metformin, having basically the same effect on insulin resistance. It had been shown to have been even more successful in some cases than metformin without all the funky side effects, or at least not as many that metformin has. I did order, obviously, I did order a jar of it. Um, it's this kind of bright yellow capsule. And Typically, the suggested, there's a couple ways to take it. You can either take like a full serving earlier on in the day or you can take it throughout the day, which is what I've been doing. 500 milligrams, preferably 
a half hour to 90 minutes before eating a meal three times a day. Sometimes I've had to kind of take it on the fly like 10 minutes before eating, um, especially if it's been a busy work day and I've just had to kind of plan on the go. I started taking that on May 5th and it's now May 20th and my phone's ringing. All right, a little strap for time now, so I'm just gonna kind of keep this concise, um, at least until the next part. But basically, I have been taking this supplement, Berberine, for however many weeks, like a couple weeks. I started taking it on the 5th of May, and today's the 20th, and I'm down two and a half pounds, which is like, okay, Grace, like, that's like fluctuating weight or water weight or whatever, no big deal, but it's still at about like a pound a week. And honestly, this is the first time I've really seen the scale move at all in that direction in memory. Uh, I've been lifting heavy, working on progressive overload, prioritizing protein in my diet. I've just found that berberine, if anything else, what it seems to do is just kind of take that edge off of hunger and appetite, especially between meals. Berberine works uh, to help with insulin resistance and kind of curve that curb that insulin uh, spike that happens after eating a meal, especially if it's carb heavy. I found that taking this has just made me less anxious for the next meal, um, especially if like it's a situation where I'm having to wait to like plan what to do. Basically it's just been helpful in kind of not making the day about food or the next thing to eat. It's helped me stay in a calorie deficit, which has just been really hard to manage a lot of the time because an hour or so after a meal, I typically am hungry again. If anything, I wouldn't necessarily call this an appetite suppressant, but I would say that it's just kind of another useful tool in your tool belt for managing hunger, managing a calorie deficit, managing weight loss and uh, body goals or body composition goals. I'm in no way a medical practitioner. I'm not qualified to give any sort of advice like that. Anyway, just being down a couple of pounds, like two and a half in two and a half weeks has just been huge. I track my weight with the Happy Scale app, I think it's called. It shows trends and for the longest time it's just been showing this maintaining trend and since I've started taking Berberine, it's finally you know, showing that downward slope. So this has been pivotal in my experience so far. This is the Tonic brand, um, T-O-N-I-I-Q, Tonic. I would say there haven't really been any side effects that I've experienced, kind of a lack of hunger. A lot of people have been toting this as like, a Manjaro dupe or an Ozempic dupe. It's not. I think those kinds of claims are ridiculous, but it definitely is helpful and I found it to be a, a lot more of a successful supplement uh, in comparison to like Ovacetol. Anyway, I look forward to reporting on my progress over time and uh, here, here's one more look at it. If, uh, oh my gosh, how does this work? Is this why they do this? Yeah. More on that soon. We'll say this is the start to a weekend vlog or something. And yeah, we'll wrap this up soon. It's gonna be kind of, I think, a uh, low-key weekend. See you in a bit. Also, I wanted to come on here and mention real quick um, that I have heard that you shouldn't combine berberine with like other supplements or other medication that affects your insulin resistance or your glucose. So definitely don't do what I'm doing. Um, talk to your doctor first. Not that I'm on anything, but I'm just kind of like taking it into my own hands. Um, yeah, anyway, just wanted to throw that bit in there. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a wee bit. Hi guys, uh, that didn't turn into any sort of vlog after all. Uh, it was a good long Memorial Day weekend. We lit off some sparklers, had some fun together. I will provide updates with more Berberine content, how that's going, some follow-ups on my progress and successes with that, but otherwise I will end the vlog here or end the video here and pick up uh, where I left off. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm happy to expand on my experiences so far. Otherwise it's been really fun kind of documenting this so far and actually starting to see some progress. Mm -hmm.